see some really big changes, especially if you think about it in the context of what's happened to retail in the last 30 years. So 30 years ago, there was no internet. Um, retailers used to have to go around the store and price sticker every single item so you knew what price it was. And if you wanted to buy music or videos or DVDs, you'd have to go to a physical store to do that. So if you think forward 30 years in the future, we're going to see some really seismic changes in retail. I think the two areas of the biggest change will be around products. So the products we consume. So I think we'll see a big change there in terms of them becoming much healthier products, more focus on the nutritional elements of those products, so more superfoods, more plant-based foods, uh, more foods with less sugar and salt, uh, more meat alternatives. So I think we'll see a massive change there and that'll affect what we see in the, in the core grocery offer within a store. And the second area of change I think we'll see a lot of disruption is in the types of channels and the way consumers interact with retailers and brands. So we'll still have physical stores, uh, but they'll change in nature. So there'll probably be no cashiers and checkouts. The types of items they stock will be different. Uh, online will probably become about 30 to 40% of the grocery channel sales. Uh, and the way consumers order will be more through um, some of the new innovations we're seeing now, like voice uh, and virtual reality, rather than necessarily going to a website and clicking on it. I think there'll be a big change in the way retailers and their suppliers work together. And I think one of the key elements of that will be data will be a lot more democratised. Everyone will use data and be used to working with data. Uh, and also the use of data science really at the heart of optimising processes such as trade planning, pricing, assortment. I think we'll find machine learning really optimising those processes, freeing up people's time uh, to spend more time on innovation, customer experience, new product development. Consumers will still be very focused on value. Um, be it value in terms of pricing, quality, convenience. So the retailers that will be successful will be those that still continue to be obsessed about delivering value to customers every day. That's not going to change.